listeners this is shushmita shama from bani b and welcome you to speaking lesson 5 here you can see the answers you remember i have given you some tasks in previous lesson lesson 4 so here five books pachta boy three girls teen john may six pence chaita column those are the answers so today's lesson is about numbers and is about possessions when you want to talk about possession like i have something you have something uh, he has something how will you say that so we will learn that but before that you will need these words you already need, know these words if you have watched the first four speaking lessons then you know these words okay so let's have a look at this once again i is ami you is apni she or he for both of this word we have one bangla word okay she the pronunciation is she this is not she okay my means amar your apnar in bangla so i have not written the phonetic here let me write it in english letter amar apnar and this is par so why did i write the n inside brackets because this is a nasal uh, letter this n and it is just to denote the nasalization here just to express that okay so just to express the nasalization here i have used this n so this is not like tar this is tar okay this ta is nasal so if you do not put the nasalization here nasalization mark here that means you are not showing enough respect to that person this is an honorific form so that's why it's good it would be i would appreciate if you pronounce it with the proper nasalization and if you try to say tar instead of tar okay let's uh, start the main lesson uh so why have i done this why have i make you look at the words because we are going to need these words and these are the usual pronouns which we use for subjects but these are the positive form of this right my your his amar apnar tar we are going to need these positive form today so here the first bangla sentence is amar ponero ta kolom ache now if you have watched reading lesson 31 and re reading lesson 32 then you know that ponero means 15 kolom means pen ache is the word for have so whenever we want to say that we have something i have something okay the word is ache all the time you need this word ache if you want to say that you have something now amar is my right amar is my so here my Now it looks weird, huh? My fifteen pen have. It looks weird. Well, uh, if you want to have literal translation from one language to another language, then it's not going to work. Uh, like I remember how I was uh, confused. I got so confused when I saw the German sentence "ich uh, heiße Schema," and then. in spanish also they said something like me llamo shama so i am so used to uh, saying my name is shama or i am shama 
but for me it should be ish bin shama instead of ish haize shama so uh, see i i don't need to go to the details of german and i also do not know german because those structures were confusing for me but that made me humble and i had to embrace the fact that okay i should not expect that i can uh, literally translate something from one language to another language each language uh, has its uh, own kind of structure so you'll have to uh, accept that fact and then you will be able to appreciate the new language okay so here um um uh, my 15 pain have now i will have to solve this what does it mean you are smart enough to know that right it means i have 15 pains and uh, if you want to know the answer why i am using column instead of column gulo because the s is the plural sign and for that s the bangla for that s is gulo but i am not using gulo with column why so to know that answer you will have to watch the previous lesson uh now you will just have to memorize this first sentence amar 15 ta kolom ache i have 15 pens so if you uh, memorize the first one then you will know how to solve the second one apnar dui ta phone ache what is the uh, meaning of apnar your ha huh? apnar okay that means you and ache is always going to mean have ha huh? acha so you have duita is to and then phones ha huh? so instead of saying uh, 15 column 2 column we are saying 15 ta column duita phone why because when we add any number with any uh, noun so if you add number before a noun then you need a article you need an article and ta is an article ta means d okay that means d two forms that's why instead of ponero column i have say d 15 pens okay mm, then the third one ta 10 ta boy ache good what does it mean tar means his or her okay so that means he because you already know how it works huh he has 10 means 10 huh so he has 10 and boy means book books so here are the three sentences you are supposed to translate in bangla and i have given the bangla words already for mug the bangla is mog we pronounce it as mog doll is putul dental ta bat palatal t we try to pronounce it in the english way so same ta okay the palatal one this one is the dental one and you are going to use these words for your task ha huh? all the best and i'm looking forward to seeing your answers please subscribe to my channel if you have liked this video if you have found this video helpful then please press the like button and if you want to get notified for each and every video i upload then please press the bell icon see you in the next lesson bye